Hi guys, welcome back to Fill My Cup. Um, as always, I am only being a vessel while learning. I am thankful that God allows me to be a vessel for him while I am learning in the name of Jesus. Um, I'm going to jump into a quick prayer, then into the word. So Father God, as I see here, Lord God, I ask that you filter all my mind, body, and my spirit, Lord God, with my flesh, Lord God. Filter me out, Lord God. Empty me out, Lord God, and fill me up with your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Father God, I ask that whoever you bring to this video, that they get clear understanding, clear instruction, and clear wisdom that you are trying to give them in the name of Jesus. Father God, you we know that you are calling us to be personal, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, because the blessings that we receive is personal the love that we receive from you is personal so you would like us personally to come to you personally to read the word father god and see what you are trying to tell us get that revelation in the name of jesus father god i just ask that you just give me clear understanding lord god and that you that you speak clear words in the name of jesus father god so that we can understand father god exactly what you are trying to lead and tell us in the name of jesus so god is saying he's giving out these double portions guys he he said he's giving out these double portions he said that it is judgment season he said he's already here usually you hear there's words where it's coming soon it's almost here no god is saying the heavens are open and he is here guys literally the heavens are open and he is here it is judgment season he's not only judging the righteous he said he is judging the sinners as well so wherever you're living in you're going to receive a double portion of that judgment in the name of jesus he gave me isaiah um, 61, 61, seven, and let me go, excuse me. And it reads, instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. Instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in the inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. Okay, he said, instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. Instead of your disgrace, you will receive, you will rejoice in an inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion in your land. The everlasting joy will be yours. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. In my faithfulness, I will reward my people and make them an everlasting covenant with them in the name of Jesus. So God is saying that he is coming. And again, this is Isaiah 61, 7 through 8 in the name of Jesus. He also had gave me... Um, Isaiah 21, uh, let me see, 21, and it says 6 through 12. So, he gave me Isaiah 6, um, 21, 6 through 12, and it says, go post the lookout and have him report what he sees. When he sees chariots with teams of horses and riders on donkeys or rider, riders on camels, let him be alert, fully alert. So God is saying that he's sending out his, his um, servants. He's sending out his people who are willing to serve him in the name of Jesus. He's saying that he's calling everyone's attention. He's alerting that he's here. The time is now in the name of Jesus. Um, he says, and the lookout shouted, day after day, my Lord, I stand on the watchtower every night. I stand on my post. Look, here comes a man in a chariot and a team of horses. And he gives back the answer. Babylon has fallen. He has fallen. All the images of its God's lies shattered on the ground my people are crushed on the threshing floor i tell you what i have heard from the lord almighty from the god of israel so god is saying his judgment is like a threshing um a threshing like a threshing floor so he kept giving me threshing floor i'm like god what is what is this threshing floor um so i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you the definition of that threshing floor but here in isaiah 21 10 he's like you, you know um he, he's, he's calling everyone's attention in the name of Jesus. He said, with these judgments that are coming, God said he has already did his part. So that's why he's able to come and give us our promises. That's why he's able to come and give us our blessings because the battles is over. The wars is over. God said in the name of Jesus, God said he's already conquered that. God said he's already won that battle. He said, now it's time for what we learn. All these months that we've been learning, all this time that we've been learning. He said he gives you instructions based off of what is coming next in your life he's giving you instructions based off of the season that you're moving into in your life so when he gives you instructions you have to pay attention because it's your food for your next season in the name of jesus so glory be to god so he is saying that he had already won that battle he's already equipped you on 
how to win that battle. Um, so right now, the enemy is attacking our minds, our thoughts. He's attacking our loved ones' minds, their thoughts. He's trying to turn us against each other. He's, he, he, he's trying to interfere because that's the last tactic that he has. He knows that he's already defeated by God. So he's trying, the enemy is trying to attack our flesh in the name of Jesus. But God is saying that he is giving you new blessings. He's giving you a new wineskin. So in the name of, the name of Jesus, if you're still trying to build your future, your new based off that old, that old is going to diminish the new the old is going to overtake the new because you're going to be so focused your mind is going to be so focused on the old thoughts that you're not going to be able to fill your body up with these new thoughts with these new blessings so god is saying he's giving out these new wine skins and he said that he's not even going to allow you to remember he don't think it's all on you god said he's not even going to allow you to remember the old whenever you try to go back if a situation in your household or at your work at your job with your kids whenever you try to go back and relate that situation to something in the past you're not even going to be able to remember that in the name of jesus because god said he is causing for those old memories that old hurt that old forgiveness to disappear because he is now filling you up he's pouring into you so that your cup can overflow in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit he said so your cup can overflow in the name of jesus with these new blessings with this new wine so it can overflow on these people that's around you in the name of jesus okay so god is saying that he is coming he said watch out for these attacks on your mind he said just remember that the replace those old thoughts with new thoughts if you have a thought oh this is not going to work out because it is replace it with the new thought oh it is going to work out because god has already told me that he's already doing it right now in the name of jesus so then he took me to um the threshing floor so he had brought me to ruth when when ruth received these instructions these instructions for to from Naomi to go and lay on this threshing floor after Boaz was done, after he was finished eating and after he was finished drinking, when he lied down. So Boaz was finished doing, Boaz was finished doing his work. Boaz was finished eating and drinking. He had already eat, ate the things that God was giving to him. He had already drunk the things that God was giving to him in the name of Jesus. So now he was going to go rest. So you are going to, you and your Holy Spirit, you and your mate are going to meet up in this resting place in the name of Jesus. Okay, so God is saying that this new, the new is a resting place place you have to meet up in that resting place in the name of jesus for those that who are waiting on mates that's who that's for but in the name of jesus god is saying that that new area is going to be an area of rest naomi um ruth followed these instructions that no naomi was giving her naomi told ruth to go lie at the the feet of boaz so again you know our, our husband, our God is always the head, our husband, you know, he's there. He's supposed to be the head of the family. We are lying at his feet. We are the women sometimes are these praying spouses in the name of Jesus. So the, the, the instruction that um, Ruth had received was her next season. Okay, she was already laying at Boaz's feet. She was already there to serve him as her husband in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. So, um. Uh, they were again, they met at this threshing floor. Now threshing, that says the threshing floor was a place where the grain was separated from the harvest wheat stalks. The wheat stalks were threshed or crushed either by hand or by oxen. And the valuable grain, the inner kernels, was separated from the worthless chaff, the outside of the shell. The floor was made from a rock hard, so rock hard soil and located outside the village. Usually on an elevated site where the wind would blow away the lighter chaff which is these shells the wind will blow away the shells and then that's why the gr the grain um, will be thrown into the air this is called called winnowed the grain will be thrown into the air and then the seed basically will fall to the ground on this soil and um the the shells the things that were no good were blowing in the wind so god is saying this threshing this threshing, his judgment is like a threshing in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly read the note that he did give me as well um, regarding that. And it says, he is here for judgment, giving out double portions of whatever portion um, yours may be. Judgment is like a threshing floor. Not only it separates us from our old, not to build on the new from the, not to build the new from the old. He says the old will... Um, 
The old will bust the new wineskins and the new blessings. God says new portions calls for new containers to hold, to hold it in the name of Jesus. How can you receive the portion, the new portion, if it's already full with the old? So how can you receive the new if your wineskin is already filled halfway full with the old? That means you're only going to be able to receive half of the blessings that God is giving you. He said he is not even going to allow the old to be remembered. He said the new light, the new light, the new light of the thoughts that you are having are going to outshine the old thoughts of darkness. He says that's why the attacks have been so intense because the enemy knows that he has been, that it has been completed. He knows that you are new. Maybe attacking your thoughts because this is the only thing that he, he has left that he can touch. Um, and again, the enemy has to get permission from God to even attack your thoughts. So God is trying to see how strong we are. God is saying, trying to see where we stand. Are we going to let the enemy come in and, 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 and tempt our thoughts out of us receiving our judgment, out of us receiving our portions? No. So again, the enemy has to get permission. He says, um, and then God has equipped us for this moment. He says, literally, that now, he said, literally, this is now the heavens are open in the name of Jesus. And then he said, um, you, again, the instructions that are you are receiving are for your next season. And then he also gave me. Um, he also had gave me. Daniel. And it says. While, we were, while he was saying to me, I bowed my face toward the ground and was speechless. Then the one who, who looked like a man touched my lips and I opened my mouth and began to speak. I said to the one standing before me, I am overcome with anger because the vision of my Lord and I feel very weak. How can your servant talk with you, my Lord? My strength is gone and I can hardly breathe. Again, the one who looked like a man touched me and gave me strength. Do not be afraid. Um, you who are highly esteemed, he said, peace, be strong now, be strong. And when he spoke to me, I was strengthened. And he said, speak, my Lord, since you have given me strength. Okay. So this was Daniel. Sorry, guys. This was Daniel 10, verse 15 through 19. And basically, this is when Daniel, he had received a vision that basically judgment was coming. He received a, a vision of how judgment was going to be you know, in the future for this certain situation and it, it made him sad. So he was attacking his thoughts. It brought him into this depression and God sent him this angel, um, which gave him strength. You know, it gave him the ability to speak. So God is saying he is our security. He is our strength in this time in the name of Jesus. He said, always pray to him. He said that um, don't expect God's answer to come too easily or too quickly. Prayer may be ch a challenge by evil forces. Jesus taught us to pray um, frequently and earnestly. Okay, it says, look for God to answer at the right time. So God is saying that he is hearing your prayers. When you're going through these uh, mental attacks, know that God is hearing your prayers. And although he might not answer you at that moment or the way you want to be answered, he said, you have to put yourself in the position where you can hear his answer in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. So again, guys, thank you for allowing me to be a vessel while I learn. Thank you for allowing me to come on here and even speak uh, regarding the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.